Hey guys, this is my Captain's Crew video week 56. <sighs> okay, I just want to show, do you guys, I, okay, back in one of my previous videos, I think it's video 48, back in like January, I, I had a little kitten with me. This, come on, get back, get this is the little kitten, how are you more grown up? Wow, well, as grown up as he can be, I guess. He's still a turkey, he's still a cuddle bug. So yeah, he was he was looking don't you dare climb up. Okay, back on the bed. Ow. Mm. Okay. I need him climbing on my yarn. Which he probably would have. Anyway, little cats aside, that's be that was Beady, who is still a little brat, and he likes to lay on my mom's face. So I didn't Oh, no. Okay, so I didn't get. So first of all, I'm sorry. This is like this is over a week late. Um, I just wasn't feeling well last week. I just did not feel like doing a, putting out a video. So and I honestly didn't get much done. And I still don't have a lot done. But I'll show you the stuff that I finished. And these are not. The one is kind of related, but it's neither of them. Ne I can't talk today. Neither of them are knit or crochet. So the first one. Is this? And I'm sorry for the lighting. Um, I've got my, I rearranged my room a couple weeks ago, like two or three weeks ago, and my desk got moved. Or remember how long? However long ago, my desk got moved, and I said I'd try videoing here. Hence why there's um, a shadow. So and this is Kaya. I think I showed this last time, but this isn't finished. So there's that. And I'm very proud of this one. Um, this is, I can't remember which video it was. I think I showed it. My first cross stitch project that I did. This is my second. And I think, yeah, you guys can like see all of these little. <laughs> the back looks up. So that's the back. And it looks just horrible. But you know what? I'm happy with it. And it says, I'm pretty sure it's front words for you guys, but in case you can't see it, it says everything is possible with God. Matthew. Ah! I put that in the <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay. Matthew 19, 26. Actually, I put the French knots for the that go between the 19 and the 26 in the wrong spot. And I hate French knots. I was about ready to kill me. Like, I was, I was so done with this. Like, it was so easy, and then I had the French knot. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with this. So, yeah. So, I put the French knot in the wrong spots, and I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> okay. So, I've got some stuff, some whips here that I've been working on. One that is not sitting here, because I didn't feel it. Because it's a dishcloth. I'm sorry, my hair is, like, really all over the place. Um, but anyway. And I'm rambling yet again. Um, I've been working on dishcloth, or trying to finish one. It's over by my bed, and it's it's basically a corner to corner dishcloth. Nothing fancy. And there's a mosquito in my room! Oh, I hate mosquitoes. So one thing I don't like about summer is all those friggin' mosquitoes. So if I can get them done. If you heard that, that was my nerds. Nerds. I'm very bouncy today, so if I'm like, really acting really silly just anyway um i got some yarn for my birthday and it was mill end yarn and it was and this is kind of what it looks like you can kind of see it anyway it kind of got squished because it it was originally like that but it's kind of been squished so i decided to make a this is bob wilson's one bob wilson one two three scraptastic bag so i'm just and the sides are different well they don't look very different on the screen but trust me, they are. So I'm working on that, and I think I'm gonna do for the band at the top. I'm or you do single crochet. I think I'm gonna do black, and then I can't decide if I'm gonna do the handles in black as well, or I'm gonna do the handles in this. We'll see what I have left for yarn, because I if I can, I'd like to get two bags out of this yarn. So I have three balls of it. So there's that that I'm working on, and the other thing that I'm working on, trying to get done is I think I showed this to you once before but I don't remember this um 
it's an amigurumi. It's supposed to be um, an owl. Which have... No, I have no pictures of the finished one. But, anyway. It is the big snowy owl. I'll post the link below if I remember. If you guys come on in and it's not there, just kind of let me know. Because I'll probably forget knowing me. So, this is it. I'm using um, Loops, and Thread, Loops and Threads Charisma. And this is just, the colorway is white. You know. So, there's that. So I got a, so I have this one that I'm working with. I have two more balls of white and another ball, uh, and a ball of this blue. Dig it out. This blue, it actually looks really close to my, the cardigan I'm wearing. And this is Royal. I used the same color in my dad's afghan last year. So, so this is that. And I'm not, I might actually, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might, I was thinking, I should, I'm wishing I had done the bottom in it. But I'll probably do like the eyes and stuff with it. And I saw actually a really good idea for the eyes. Because someone did like anime eyes, so it's like... And he goes like two V's and then like kind of a zigzag mouth and it looks really cute. And I think I'm gonna do that instead. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. And I'm gonna make another one for my mom for Christmas. So I'm gonna make two. But I think for my mom's, I don't think I'm gonna do the patterning because as you can tell, there's like patterning on. It's driving me crazy. Like I love I love it. I love working on this. I just want the pattern section to be done. I'm just like, nope, I'm done with the pattern section. I mean, it looks pretty, but it's just a pin in the butt to do. Because it's, it's so, like, this one, da, 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 I'm just like, <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm, and the one I'm using for my mom is, like, a tweed type. I'll show it to you in my next video. Anyway, so, other, also, um, I went with my parents to Michael's. To get some material for Tinkerbell's wings, which I have not here, as usual. So my dad found this book. It's gifts gifts to knit in a weekend, and it's really it's got some really really cool patterns. This one I actually try not to show. I'm trying not to show. So this one I really like. This is I'm trying not really hard not to show the the pattern portions. Um, cape buttoning cable wristers. There's one here there. I'm not going to show them because they're, I don't think they'll show up very well. Oh, I'll try. Like, they're not showing up that well. Anyway. They are called self-striping gauntlets. And they're really pretty, but who, when they're done, they're done with self-striping self yarn and a cable pattern. So... The, the cable pattern kind of gets lost in. I'm sorry if you hear noises. My dad, I, guess, I think, is mowing the lawn. But anyway, yeah, the cable with self striping yarn, I, just, I don't personally like. I would just do, I'd either do the self striping yarn or the cabling. I wouldn't do both. But that's just me because I think that the, the cable pattern gets lost in this in the self striping yarn. The other thing I got, I was like, I saw, and I was like, I can't, I want it so bad. So I'll show you really quickly the picture I took. I've got a friend who's obsessed with this type of yarn. That was the nice part. Um, basically, yeah, sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. Anyway, who took... <clears throat> Here it is. Okay, Burnett basically took basically took the I don't want to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Um took the Burnett baby blank yarn and made Burnett blanket, which I guess is just more for like adult colors. So, this is the one I got, and it's a lot darker than it's showing up. Like, I don't know if I can... Yeah, it's a lot darker than it's 
or it's a lot lighter than it's showing up, and it's like a turquoise, and it's really pretty. Um, so there's that. And this is kind of the display that was at my Michaels, so I'll show you really quickly. So there's there, all down there, and then those two down there. So there was 14 different colors, and I was like, I want it all. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with Burnett baby, baby Blanket yarn, and I just saw this, and I'm like, give it to me. So yeah, those are, I got those, and the material, and that's all I got. And so, um, just a really quick note, with um, my room changing around, <clears throat> I'll either be doing my videos here at my desk, or on my bed, like I've been doing for the last little while. Um, I'm just actually gonna really quickly show you. Move that, move my butt out of the way. You can look way up. There's all my yarn. I how I can't see it very well on the camera, but oh, and also supernatural. This one and these are supernatural. Slightly obsessed. Yeah. So, and so I've got. I've got whips here. Oh, once my room is like really officially done, I may do a tour, room tour, or a craft tour, we'll see, but, so I've got whips on this in here, whips in here, whips in here, and in the one beside it, over here, is also whips, and then, this is a whip, this is a baby blanket I am making, it's like a chevron one, I think I've shown you before, and then, more yarn for baby blanket, and yeah, and then pretty much from from this square up is all yarn. So yes, yeah, so that is it. I'm going to go and try and get this um, owl done. I have three, I have about nine rows of the pattern to go, and I'm done. And I'm like, yes, just like blast it, trying to get it done. Yes, and I don't know how if you can see. Oh, that was on the bottom one. There, okay. You hear that? Ding, 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 ding. That's those guys. That's those little stinkers. Diggle, diggle, diggle. Yeah, I call them Diglets. Their, 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 their names are kind of. I, I basically call them Chippendale or Digus, Digit. Diggets or diglets, you know, it's kind of, or boys. Then, then, oh, you can might be able to, I don't know how well you can see. Right there, just above my, oh, he moved. Right there, it's a digu. I don't know how well, because my camera's not that great, but yeah. That's one boys. Anyway, I will put the links to the other Castle of members in the description box below, down in the doobly-doo. So, I will see you guys in... Two weeks, hopefully, depending on what's going on. Bye, guys.